Oh, he's he's feral too. Yeah, he hit the post. Tough motherfucker. He's still not dead. He's still not dead. <laughs> what did I get myself into? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days Today. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to go out and do some more POIs and some maybe some random looting, a little bit of both, and have some more fun here in our favorite zombie game. So let's get some water going here. And uh, I've got 60... I got a whole mess of bacon and eggs. I got <laughs> like 24 bacon and eggs. That's like amazing. Um, and so we're doing fine on food, of course. And all this, th this is all like our medical stuff here. I'm going to actually just keep that in the bike's storage so we have it, you know, when we're out and about. And, yeah, let's do this. Um, well, so much for going down the ladder. Uh, what is this this quest that we have? It's been a couple days since I played. Oh, we got a, a reward, too. What's that? A complete a quest tier. There we go. Okay. We got that. Hey, we got a level out of the deal. Look at that. fan friggin' tastic um, let's hop back up here where it's a little safer for a second and take a quick look at that. Uh, what are we working on? As I've mentioned a few times now, I want to get all of the, the first points and the critical stuff before we start focusing on a particular attribute. Um, so we could do lucky. We could do salvage ops. I've already put a point in penetrator. Uh, let's take a look at strength. We are eventually going to do shotguns. In fact, I could make a pipe shotgun. It's really only good for the first shot, but it can pack a punch. We could get, you know, uh, get some serious softening going. And I think we've read a couple of the shotgun books, too. Shotgun. Yeah, we've read... Oh, wait. Sorry. Wrong place. Shotgun beside. We've read one so far. Targets within three meters have a high dismemberment chance. Okay. Okay. Well, there is that. So what kind of shot pipe shotgun can I make? Probably a yellow pipe shotgun. Yeah, a yellow. Okay, I've got 23 shells. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I was going to do that. <laughs> like I said, it's been it's been about three days actually since I've played this game, so I kind of forgot um, you know, what where I had left off. Yeah, I had intended to do that. That's why I already had had all the stuff lined up. Beautiful. Okay, so um, in that case, I think it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, shotguns, we're going to be doing shotguns and maxing them out eventually anyway, so we might as well get started right now. So again, pipe shotgun sucks, but it is good for the very first shot. Uh, there's no doubt about it. And then we can, you know, follow up. Um, I don't have any mods for it, so... And then we'll just keep our, uh, I mostly just use this for, you know, opportunity shots, sniping, hunting. So we don't necessarily need to keep that on our toolbar. Uh, this, of course, is our oh shit weapon. And this is kind of our second oh shit weapon. And I think we're in pretty good shape. All right. Now let's head out. Uh, you should be done here. Turn you off. And I got four. Oh, I guess I have four red tea in here. Okay, that's good. That is good. Now, this quest that we have, uh, what is it? It is, uh, we have opening trade routes for Trader Gen and a clear. I think it might not be a bad idea to do opening trade routes. Open up some country. We have the bike now, so we can do that much more safely than we could if, you know, if we didn't have it. Um, hold on, let's go back there again. Uh, make that the active quest and show it on the map. All right, I don't know, is that north or south of us? Oh, uh, it it should be south of us because I remember the map. Yeah, okay. Why don't we do that? Why don't we do opening trade routes first and just kind of go for a little bit of an exploration and do uncover the map. And then if we have time, we'll come back and do this this other quest. If we don't, you know, then we'll we'll hit it next time around. Let's do this. Our bike's in good shape. In fact, our bike's in perfect condition for now. I'm sure that will change. Oh, so we'll leave town for the first time, other than, you know, a couple of 
wilderness for a, oh, you know what we could do? Now that we have a bike, we can get away from the bad bats easily. Let's do this. This isn't really something I would want to do on foot, but now that we have a bike, we can get away. Watch me get my ass absolutely handed to me. No, that's not going to happen. Okay, time to go. So what we do is we lead these fuckers away, and then we circle back around and get into the car. Okay, let's go way out this way. Cop cars typically have a lot of ammo in them. In fact, they just generally have good shit in them across the board. We just got to make sure that they all followed me. Sometimes a couple of them linger back here. Okay. Oh, shit. You follow me all that way? You son of a... That guy's relentless. Oh, he's he's feral too. Yeah, he hit the post. You dumbass. Tough motherfucker. He's still not dead. He's still not dead. <laughs> Shit, what did I get myself into? Holy crap. Nice. You can sh crap. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. That was probably worth the bruising that we got. Oh, I, I didn't know he was still on my ass, man. Jeez. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. Now let's shut this thing up and get the fat loots. And oh, shit. Here comes a cop. No, don't spit on the cop car. Yowzers. Okay. Hurry. Quick. Open. Run. Fast. Go. There we go. Let's go. <laughs> wow. Okay. Maybe I should have <coughs> gone a little further out. Probably circled around a little sooner than I needed to. Okay. Is he still... He's still coming. Is he really coming after us, though? Uh, he kind of looks like it, huh? Is he a normal or is he a feral? He's a feral. We're not fucking with him at all. What are you, dude? Normal or feral? Oh, shit. He's feral. Run. No, 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 no. Spit's bad. We don't like it. I can't believe how relentless these guys are. I don't remember them, you know, staying on you as long as they, they are doing. I want to go back, though, and, and get that other cop car, too. Also, I don't know. Didn't really get a close look at the loot because we were kind of preoccupied. Okay, let's reload all of this stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm keeping my eyes turned in that direction. In that direction in case he continues to come. I think if we get far enough away, he'll des he he'll despawn. All right. Anyway, what do we get? We got a pipe rifle that's not as good as the one we have, but it'd be it'll be worth fixing up and selling. We got. Wait. Where do we get that? Oh, we got that out of the bag. Yeah, we don't need that shit at all. But what we could do is scrap it and use the stone to repair our other. Yellowstone axe, so we can, we'll do that. And then shotgun shells. I pro I must have gotten some more ammo, I think. I hope I did. Let's also put this stuff in here. Because that's where it lives now. And we got some water, too. 
Okay. I'd like to hang on to that so we can turn it into red tea. Okay, let's go back and see if that cop buggered off so we can try that other cop car. All right, I think he's, I think they've all cleared out. I hope. Okay, let's do this again. Um, you know, it used to be, and maybe it still is, that there's a chance that you don't call that pretty nasty horde. Um, but you know, if we do, we'll just jump on a bike and do the same thing. Here we go. I have, do I have lockpicks? I do, but I don't have any skill in lockpicking. And I hate lockpicking in this game anyways. They need to do it like Undead Legacy. When I say in this game, I mean in vanilla, of course. Here they come. All right, let's do this again. A crawler's coming after us. That's scary. Okay, we got cops. We got more skater punks. These guys are running fast. Oh, Arlene, you're like really booking it. She gave us a frickin' abrasion. Really? Damn it, Jim. I'm gonna go way over here. We'll head up this road and then we'll kind of cut across country. Um. God damn it, he's still chasing me. <laughs> can't believe how relentless these guys are. All right, let's head back over by the car and see if it's clear. Right. Oh, God, he's still... Okay, that guy just will not give up. Unbelievable. <laughs> he's booking it, too. My word. I want to deal with this abrasion, though, before we leave town. So we got to get back to our base. I've got smaller bandages. I'd rather use those and not a big one. Uh, you know, a big medikit. Okay. Let's grab one of you. And that'll take... Well, it'll speed up the healing of the abrasion is what it'll do. But that's good enough. And just give us some general health. We can put this stuff in here. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I guess we might as well smelt it while we're gone. Hopefully it doesn't call any screamies in. All right, is Dickweed still chasing us? He finally buggered off. Okay, I think we're good. Stay alert, though, just in case. Come on, give me something good for my trouble. That's good. I will take all of that stuff. All right. Let's go. Since the base is still right just over here, let's go drop this stuff off really quick before we take off. I know. I am the absolute king of getting sidetracked. You guys know that by now, though. Just call me Mr. Squirrel. The Bearded Squirrel. That's my new name. I'm changing my name to the Bearded Squirrel. Um, okay, so let's grab two of you. We will repair you, and we'll repair you. These two we will sell to Trader Jin. We'll hang on to the machine gun parts for the future. And we have a full stack of nines and then some. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Yes, indeed it is. A little more iron to throw in here. Let's divide that up evenly. And are we thirsty? Yeah, we are thirsty. Let's go ahead and have this yucca, because why not? And we'll also top off with the bacon and eggs. I'm going to put that ammo up there. So these, these two are for selling, so we'll put them down in the corner until I sort my inventory and screw it all up. Now let's go see Trader Jen.
this is where our, our quest is. Um, boy, I don't know if, if there is a highway that travels to the south. Six dollar make you holla. Got it. So we could try and cut it. Oh, there is a road down here. try and hit that road because I don't want to get into really nasty terrain with a bicycle that could not be good for us yeah let's let's go hit that road and follow it and just see where it leads we'll go cross country from here till we hit the road That lake that we saw a few episodes ago. Not cool looking. Don't drive off into it though. I want to stop for a second and look. There's some kind of POI on that island. Looks like it might be one of those camp places, maybe? Not sure. Stay away from me, Arlene. You too, Bo. We got a sizable town here in the burned biome. Look at this place. Oh wait, this isn't the burned biome, this is the wasteland. Oh shit. Why do we have such a big town? Um, not so sure I want to be here right now. Yeah, uh, oh, let me try this cop car. <laughs> Wonder what kind of nasties it, the wasteland will call. Well, we could break it open and then, you know, when we come back in the future, grab it. Let's just try it and see what happens. Vominos! Oh, yeah, there's some bad guys. We have greenies. Oh shit! Ow, that hurt. That didn't hurt that much. <laughs> so we'll come back here, you know, I don't know, in a, a few years from now. <laughs> that siren will still be going off. But at least we'll know the car's no longer booby trapped. So here's the thing. Um, I've run out of highway, folks, and we still have one and a half clicks to get to Jin. So I'm trying to decide what to do about that. She is a long ways away. She's not just right down the street, man. Let's get up to the top of this little hill here and assess. Uh, yeah, wasteland. She's Louise. She's a long ways away. I wonder though if we if we just stayed on the main road in the wasteland, if we could get down to her that way. Or we just take our, our chances going cross country. But look how far I've already come. Hmm. Okay, the day is almost halfway over. If we go due south, we're going to have some 
pretty mountainous terrain, which is not super safe. Let's so we kind of go around and see if we can get through here. Um, all right. Let's let's do that. They have made trader hopping a little more difficult here in 1.0. Or 1.1, I guess it is. Just have to hope we don't get into really nasty terrain. Or fall into a hole or something. Well, if we do get into really nasty terrain, I'm going to have to get out and walk anyway. We'll just carry the bike. Is this an army base? Yeah, looks like it is. Which means there might be landmines around it. You know what, though? We can step on landmines and it won't hurt us. We read that book really early on. What if that applies to driving over them with a bicycle? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure, but let's just get on the path and not test that theory right now. I'm kind of going the wrong direction, but follow this path for a little ways and hopefully it'll lead us to a bigger road it goes in the right direction no but at least it is wrapping around to the southeast which is where we need to go all right i think i see the burn bomb now and hopefully in this this time it is the burn bomb it should be because it, it was south of us on the map when we you know when we first started the game and I generated the map we we took a look at it. Well, that road's not particularly going the way we need to go. Um, okay, let's let's go this way. I'm not so sure I want to go cross country in the burn bomb. I, I don't remember how rough it is certainly wouldn't want to do that in the wasteland because of all the debris and shit around. But this isn't too bad. I think we can probably navigate this. Rotten Cavern. That's what that's called. Back in the day, the burnt biome had dogs in it. I don't know if it does now, though. It's only a half of a skull. It's the, it's the second to the oh shit, uh, safest biome. There we go. Finally, Jen's not really in a town anywhere. She's she's out in the boondocks. Alrighty, let's do the usual. Steal the stuff from the trader and sell it to him, thingy. Um, there isn't really anything in there I want to sell to her. All this stuff we're going to sell. Don't give a shit about that. We can sell her that iron. Okay, let's take a quick look around. Oh, no, we can't do that. Can't break anything. We'll just loot everything and then sell her everything. And then what she doesn't want. Oh, nice. What she doesn't want, we can, uh, you know, just toss. Oh, man. I was hoping for another forge ahead. How about here? There we go. Oh, nice. Look at that. I'll take that. That was a really good find. Cannot complain about that, man. Another forge ahead. She's not going to want to buy sand. Ooh, that's pretty damn good stuff, too. Um, here, let's just... Let's repair that and scrap this. Okay, cool. Finding that anvil made this whole trip worth it. If nothing if nothing else good happens, at least that happened, right? Uh guess there's nothing in there. Oh, 
A blue club. No sell price. Not worth anything to us. Oh, that stuff's lootable. Take all of that. Nice, nice, nice. Nothing in there. <clears throat> oh, we need to check the ambulance. Decent. Decent indeed. Do I have any normal bandages? Huh. Jen's purse and her fridge. Oh, ho, ho, look at that. In fact, you know what? We're hungry. Um, How much health does that give us? It gives us 32 health, 18 health. Why don't we save that for using if we need to heal? And we'll just throw back a couple of bacon eggs, bacon and eggs. And let's also do a red tea to make those bacon and eggs last a little bit longer. What say you all? Uh, hey, we can sell that. We'll sell Jen's uh, burnt breakfast to her. There we go. Nope. Nope. Locker. Nice. Reduced salvage stamina and a medium armor rating. 5% less mobility, 10% noise increase. Uh, they're worth a decent amount of money. Those we'll probably hang on to and we'll have like a salvaging set when the time comes. So I think that's what we'll do with those. And... We'll leave the cloth in there for now. And I guess we'll leave that cloth in there for now, too. And that stuff. More cloth. Uh, those aren't lootable, are they? We'll come back and get that later. Uh, what's this? This Oh, this is for clubs. Okay. Wooden club quality two and a medical magazine. Right. Okay. I think we've completely looted her. Except for this stuff that we'll come back and grab later. <laughs> I'm like massively weighed down now. Fisticuffs. Uh, I would like those corn seeds too. So note to self, please don't forget to come back and get the corn seats. And if I do, I know some of you will remind me in the comments that I forgot to do that. We got the best prices in the wasteland. Well, hello, Jennifer. You are a pain in the ass to get to. I, I want you to know that. The Duke now. Oh, um. Hmm. I want the crafting skill bundle, but. Okay, hold on. I'm sure I have something you'll need. Wait a minute. Are you gonna? Well, that didn't take long. Oh, okay. Nice work. Here, let's let Need me sell to you first. Trader Jen's got what you need. Thanks, Trader Jen. You can have that, that, those, those, that. Uh, you want one nail? Didn't think so. Um, do you want some lead? Okay. We'll do some scrapping. You want some gas? Nope. All right, that's just not doing us any good right now. We don't need seven feathers. Can you buy this? Yes, she can. How about 40 stone? Nope. Okay, I don't think I want to sell anything else to her. Thank you so well. Okay, now let's take this. Nice job. All right, now 
Let's Are see. Are you looking for medical supplies or just here to check out my other wares? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's take a look and see what she has for sale. Um. Ooh. That we might grab. For 1,500 coin. Oh, did I? I am such a noob. I didn't bring my money with me. Well, at least we know she has it. She restocks stocks on day 13. It's just that this is such a long way to come. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Ooh, she got that. That's a little bit out of our range at the moment. Bow parts. Night vision. Ooh, that would be nice, guys. Oh, do you have a helmet light mod, Jen? That's what we really need. Um... Helmet. No. Damn it. Light. Nobody has a freaking light mod. Sorry, but I've never heard of a stim pack. <laughs> That's from Fallout. That's funny. Um. Oh man, I'm kicking myself now for not bringing my money. Unless. Th Wait, did I put it in the bike? Ooh, nice. Two forge heads. And two armor. And we can now, Matt, now make quality five armor, and we also have two harvesting tools. We make quality four stone tools. All right, nice. Okay, well, shoot. Let's just, uh, she's got a couple more things in here we can loot. Some books. Right, sledges? Not quite yet. Well, actually, we're going to be using this iron sledge until we can make an orange iron sledge anyway. Those are just the confessionals. More books in here. All right, well, quality three stone. What time or day is it? It's day 11. All right. Let's grab that. I didn't forget the corn seed, yay me. Come back in here and grab all this cloth that we left in here. Um, in the water. Okay, so I think I got everything. And we could sell her Feeling a little rough around the edges? We can sell her these for now, because we're not in a position yet to be making ammunition. We can sell her the brass. That doesn't even get us anywhere close to being able to buy that iron pickaxe, though. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll probably just end up coming back here off camera um, to get that, because it, it's, uh, it's going to be super nice to have an iron pickaxe. For mining, well, for everything, really, but for mining in particular, I hate mining with a stone axe. Um, as far as jobs go... Alrighty then. Stay safe out there. See, the thing about Jennifer is she's not anywhere near a town, as far as I can tell. She's kind of near the wasteland town, but I don't know that we want to do a lot of operations there. So, uh, in terms of, you know, like, moving here to do jobs with her instead of Rec Depot, she's got these Tier 2 quests. Uh, so, that's a fetch, a clear, and a fetch and clear. I think we get the most... We're always looking for some adventurous souls. Animal Have Hospital. Luck. Okay. I think we get the most points for fetch and clear. But we're going to take oh, that. I kiss you, but, you know... Apocalypse hygiene and all. Uh-huh. Apocalypse hygiene. Okay, so. Where is my bike? Let's go out to the bike. Oh, man, I'm just kicking myself that I didn't bring my freaking money. Ugh, can't take me anywhere. Okay. I mean, this was still a really, really nice find, though. So, I'm not, like, mega disappointed. Just 
mildly disappointed. Let's put that in there. And we're not really in a position at this point to be, uh, you know, to be doing questing because we're encumbered and all that. You're purple, dude. Quit dodging my arrows. It's not allowed. Okay. So, um, I think I need to go home because we're encumbered. Grab my money, come back here in the morning and get that pickaxe from her. And then we probably better just stick around Wreckedville for a little bit longer. Um, I, I mean, I, I would move down here if there was a town here, but there isn't, you know, uh, as far as I could tell, you know, looking off into the distance, at least in those directions, there are no towns around here, which doesn't really make this an ideal place to, to do jobs for her. Uh, let's check these vehicles. So a duffel bag over there. Guess we'll take that gas. Um, that's still not as good as this. Not even close. And we can't. Uh, we can't sell it. But hey, a vitamin. Chicken soup. That's. Is that one of the ones that's used in a recipe? No, it doesn't have a recipe. Uh, so we can just eat that straight up. Okay. I think there's a duffel bag in the bag here, but there's also a bunch of crawlers. So you know what? Screw those guys. Sounds like I just woke one of them up anyway. All right, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to go back home. Hang out overnight. And then in manana, I'll, I'm going to come back down here with my money so I can buy that pickaxe. And then probably, maybe what we'll do is we'll do something stupid and, you know, there could be a town off that way. Let's just check while we're here. Because if there is... Uh, Damn, that's like way over the top of the mountain, though, isn't it? If there is, then maybe it would be worth it to, to move down here. Let's just pop up over the top of this mountain and see what's what. Got a flashlight. Nice. And some blueberries. Snakes and chickens. And burn guys. There's got to be a joke in there somewhere. All right, so there is a town here. Hmm. Be a minor pain in the ass getting back and forth to Jen, but nothing we couldn't handle. Of course, is that going to be in Wasteland, though? Let's just go see. All right, we do not want to go through there. Not right now, anyway. We will later. It's kind of dreary here in the bar biome, but the loot's a little bit better. That's a big chamois factory. Be interesting to go and going through those places once we can do that uh, to see if they changed them at all.
kind of a weird layout. Headshots have a chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. We'll take it. Knife guy. Spear guy. Bat guy. Not to be confused with Batman. Ooh, lucky. Find more junk and loot, which means higher quantity. It's funny how they had to clarify exactly what that meant, because the first time I saw it, I'm going, what the fuck does that even mean? Because it all kind of depends upon how you define junk. Ooh. Uh, oh, nice. Sneaking over trash. We've already found two of the best books in this game. Sneaking over trash and stepping on landmines. I see you, buddy. Bladed weapons do 10% more damage at night. Increase attack speed with axes. And... Crap crafting skill. All right. I need a skedaddle. It's getting late. So, um, I, I'm still not sure that moving here at this moment, anyways, is a good idea. Possibly after we get a little bit more, you know, level a little more and get a little tougher. It's a pretty sizable town, though. But I think we need to head back. And so, yeah, the plan's going to be that I will I'll come back to Jen tomorrow morning with my money to get that pickaxe. And then we'll probably, I'll probably just go back to my town and then we'll pick up the episode at that point and do, just keep questing. Because I really would like to get through all the POIs in that town before we leave. Just because, you know, I'm a little bit of a completionist for one thing and it would, for another thing, it probably would be a worthwhile thing to do. So that will be the plan. Look at that big shotgun messiah. Nice. Oh, that's the that's the animal place we're supposed to do. If we stopped and did this now, we would not have any room for loot. And I'd probably have to find some place to hole up for the night. And I'd still have to go home and grab my money and come back and see Jen anyway. So it's probably not a good idea to do that right now. So yeah, let's let's not. Um, except for we will loot this because it's right here in front of us. Okay. Oh, there's another cop car we could break. I just don't stop, do I? <laughs> I should have started heading back home. A couple hours ago. <coughs> but hey, it's me. Then there's a chance that we won't call in a horde by breaking this. I'm not counting on it. Wouldn't bet money on it, but you never know. Nope, we got a horde. I can hear him. All right, let's go. Next time we come back here to do that quest, we'll have a cop car we can loot too. It's a beautiful thing. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. Um, I'll probably, I'll, I'll go ahead and keep the camera rolling in case something absolutely insane happens on the way back and I'll show it to you in the next episode. But otherwise, we're going to end the episode here. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Now, I just need to make it home in one piece.